What is going on boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, DHCMJ's Gamer here. Uh, today we are here to talk about an article written by Ethan Gack over at Kotaku. Not my favorite guy, but we'll, we'll move past that. Apparently, the Ubisoft Star Wars game may be here early next year, is what all of this is about. Just an FYI, this video will probably more than likely be going up right before the PlayStation event, the second state of play of this year, 2023. Um, and we may get some more information on that um, on the upcoming UB Forward event next month. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the article. Kotaku has learned the French publisher's open world game is currently targeting a projected release date in early 2024. In addition to the release of Assassin's Creed Mirage, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, and the missing in action pirate blockbuster Skull and Bones, Ubisoft said, quote, another large game, unquote, would also release within the next 12 months. That additional game is Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game. Now, we don't know if this is true. We don't know if, if this is indeed the game that they're looking for. I mean, for all we know, it could be Beyond Good and Evil 2. Um, that's really the only other game that I could think of, um, unless it would be the uh, Splinter Cell remake, unless that has been delayed. It's been announced. I don't think it's officially been delayed. Um, so it easily could be this Star Wars game, it could easily be Splinter Cell, or it could be Beyond Good and Evil 2, we don't know. Um, Project Helix is what uh, the Star Wars game is known as internally. It's being developed by Massive as Delete Studio, which if you don't know, they uh, created The Division 1 and 2. The Star Wars game would be a big departure from that series and totally different from the sorts of games Massive had worked on in the past, which is kind of a shame I understand why the studio would want to go a different way, but I do feel as if if they created a single slash multiplayer game that's like The Division where you could team up with your pals and it had similar mechanic like shooting mechanics to The Division, but it was set in a Star Wars universe, that would be insane and that would be interesting. If they do end up doing something like that, that would be interesting. But them saying that um, it would be totally different. I fear that, I mean, th I fear that they would try to make it a single player game. And I fear that they would try to um, implement some sort of lightsaber combat. And if they did end up doing that, um, it wouldn't, I don't think it'll necessarily be good. Now, with that being said, I don't know because we don't know anything about it. I personally think some of the best lightsaber combat we have is Jedi, the Jedi series, which is Fallen Order and Survivor and um, The Force Unleashed. Um, so I would much rather them go for a looter shooter Star Wars RPG, not RPG, but a looter shooter Star Wars action adventure game like The Division 1 and 2 and have you be a bounty hunter. And you can make a name for yourself, and you can team up with... It would basically be if um, Star Wars The Old Republic, the the online MMO, it would be like if that met the division me like shooting mechanics. I think that would be cool. Anyways, two sources tell Kotaku that development on Project Helix, which seems likely to include some form of interplanetary space travel, hasn't been progressing well. And hopes are high internally the game could be Ubisoft's first non-Assassin's Creed blockbuster hit in some time. Uh, they also say the company's goal to release the game within current fiscal year is probably too ambitious. But the question is, is this the one game that they were looking for? Because if it isn't this game, and it isn't Splinter Cell, and it isn't Beyond Good and Evil 2, what game is it unless it's under development? Unless this is the game that they are talking about, and they're like, no, it's going to be too ambitious. I, I don't know. But that's it. If you want to read the article in full, you can go down to the link in the description down below um, and read the full article. Um, I will be live here in a couple of minutes if I'm not live already. Um, come check out my channel, click the live tab, and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling with some music before the official state of play uh, goes live. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys over at the live stream. Peace.